So I've been going around my house doing a little bit of spring cleaning. One thing I wanted to do was change out my drapes and get those actually dry cleaned and cleaned. So I partnered with Two Pages to change up my drapes for the spring. So I have worked with Two Pages before in the past. If you don't know anything about Two Pages, Two Pages is an online retailer that makes custom drapes. And when I tell you that these custom drapes are everything, they are everything. They are not only customizable to your space, but they come in a wide select of headers colors and also if you want memory shape added to your drapes as well so I ordered my drapes in this beautiful burly wood color it's almost like a taupey beige color I really wanted to change out the ivory drapes and add something that had a little bit more contrast with my space especially since I have a lot of ivory going around I still kept with my same tailored look of having it triple pinch pleated and then also I always like to get the blackout liner because it not only warms the space but it helps keeps the hot sun out of the living room as well so with two pages curtains all their curtains come with the actual um plastic hooks as you see here these are the actual hooks that you will insert into the curtain like this and then you will actually hook these white hooks to your curtain rings that goes onto your curtain rod I did get my curtains in the size 52 wide by 89 inch long and you do want to measure your curtains from the tip of your curtain rod all the way down to the base of your floor so you make sure you just actually measure your window right so that way your curtains are not too long or too short so two pages comes in a wide selection of colors this is their liz panel curtains um so these are some of the different colors that they have available like i said mine's is in the color burly wood which is almost like a taupey color and i absolutely love it because it's still neutral but it kind of gives me a little bit of pop of color so I'm just gonna go ahead and take down these curtains here and get these dry cleaned and washed and stored away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my new curtains. I will have a discount code linked in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. And thank you again to Two Pages for sponsoring today's video. I did get my curtain rod from Target. I absolutely love the modern sleekness of this curtain rod. It do come in different colors. I just think it does come in like a nickel color and then a pewter and then I have it in this kind of brassy gold color. Now the curtain rings, I definitely would recommend you picking those up from Amazon if you choose to get the pinch pleated um, headers like how I have it because these curtain rings can be expensive if you get them in the store but Amazon to me has the best deal because you can get almost like a big pack for or a reasonable price so yeah so definitely check out Amazon if you're gonna um if you need any curtain rings for your pinch pleated curtains One thing I love about these curtains is that they do come with memory shape. Well, it gives you the option to get memory shape added to your curtains. And I do think that it's definitely worth adding to it because these curtains, as you can see right here, hang so nice. And right here, they come out of the pack just hanging nice. And you don't even have to worry about steaming them too much or trying to shape them into the shape that you need. So I am gonna go over it with the steamer just a little bit because it is a few wrinkles on the top of the curtains or in the middle of it. But other than that, you can see how well they hang and I just, untook, I just took them out of the pack. So it's definitely worth adding the memory shape to your curtains if you decide to order these drapes.
think of my steamer my steamer i did purchase from amazon it is by electrolux i absolutely love this steamer it works really really well so i have a link down in the description box below if you guys are interested but i absolutely love the way these drapes look you guys i think ordering drapes for your home is definitely an investment it's definitely something that you would get your longevity out of and it just makes your space looks really really finished so yeah i definitely recommend um two pages if you are looking for some affordable drapes because drapes can be very expensive especially if you're getting them customized to your home so i think two pages just takes um the middleman out of it and just makes it a lot more affordable so this is the final look you guys of these drapes i absolutely love it i did order some for my dining room as you can see here so i did go ahead and install those off camera so yeah and then this is how the liner looks in the inside as well so Okay, you guys, so let's continue on with decorating my living room. So this is my formal living room area. I always get a lot of questions regarding the furniture in this space. My sofa is the Candace Sofa by Bernhardt. I had it for many years now. I did purchase it from Gallery Furniture, so I don't have a link for it. My accent chairs I did purchase from Ashley Furniture. The coffee table is um, by Bernhardt as well, but I did purchase that from Wayfair. My area rugs is from Well Woven. And then I'm going to start off by adding a lamp into this space because I have my uh, live plants on the other side of the room. So I want to add at least one lamp into the space just to kind of brighten it up. So I did purchase a new lamp from Home Goods. This one is by Ralph Lauren. I really love the shape of this lamp and I love how big it was. So I thought it would fit perfectly into my space because it kind of has like a traditional and transitional um, style to the lamp. The end table I did get from Pottery Barn. I love that it has like a marble base to it and then it still has a traditional shape at the bottom of it or at the base of the table. So one way I like to refresh I like to refresh my spaces for the seasons. I always like to go in and change out my throw pillows. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm a really big avid advocate of pillow covers because not only do they store easily, but they are to me seems a little bit sometimes can be a little bit less expensive than actually purchasing the whole pillow. So those pillow covers that I just added to the sofa is from Etsy. I love the glam and modern vibe it has to it. I think I may have a link to those. So I have a link down in the description box below. These gray ones with the piping is from H&M. These are super comfortable. I really love it because it has like that linen texture to it. So I think it complements the um, other pillows really nicely. And then I'm gonna add in this small 10 by 12 pillow. I got this one many years ago from Home Goods. It is by Donna Karen, but I just love that brass kind of beaded detailing that it has on these pillows. They are super stunning. I always get my pillows with the down insert because it just makes it easier to kind of style your pillows and then kind of do give me that bunny ear chop that I like. These covers you guys have seen many times. I got these from Etsy as well. And most of my pillows are between 22, 22 by 22 or either a 20 by 20. I try to use, incorporate different sizes and different textures when I'm styling myself in my accent chairs just to kind of give it a more curated look. I'm gonna add in one of my favorite throw blankets. This one is kind of light and airy, it's not too heavy. I got this one from Home Goods many years ago, but it has that black and white kind of uh, buffalo check plaid detail on it and I thought it would be a really nice touch to add some um add it to the space So next I'm gonna decorate my coffee table. So I'm gonna start by adding in these decorative boxes. I shared these with you guys before on the channel. These are from Home Goods. And this table is pretty large. So I don't have the exact measurements, but it is a large table. It is on casters. I love it because I can roll it around and move it if I need to move it out the way. But I love to do a B, I love to add as much stuff as I can on this coffee table because I think it just looks better. So I'm gonna add in some coffee table books. These are the books that I'm gonna use 
use at the moment. All of my coffee table books always come from either Amazon or Home Goods, but majority of them come from Amazon. And then I'm going to add in this faux floral that I got from Home Goods. When I style in my coffee table, I always try to keep with the same color scheme and the elements. So for this spring, I really wanted everything to be light and airy, neutral, and just keeping with my same clean palette that I usually have in my house 90% of the time. I found these really cute round vases from Home Goods as well. I thought these were so unique. It has like a kind of like a ivory color and gray color detail on it. So I ended up picking up the medium size one and the small one. I think that medium one was $29.99. I think the smaller one was $19.99. And then next, I'm going to add in this marble tray. I had this tray for many years. It actually has a little small chip on it, but that's okay. I got this from, from Home Goods, uh, like I said, many years ago. And I'm going to use it to add in some faux spears to this tray. And these little spears I got from Home Goods as well. I just thought this color looks really springy to me. So I absolutely love it. Just adds a, little, a pop of greenery to the table. Now I'm going to add in some more coffee table books. These are, I really wanted to add more of my gardening books since we are in the spring and we all are outside gardening and trying to get our outside spaces together as well. These books are really good inspiration if you are looking for books on how to style with real live plants or just trying to get some inspiration for decorating landscaping and things like that. Things like that. These two books are really good, have really beautiful inspirational pictures in there. So I'm just going to open up one of the books, The Gardenista, to one of my favorite inspiration pictures inside of the book. And then I'm going to just add in this cute little magnifying glass on top. And the magnifying glass I had for many years, I got that one from Home Goods. Now next, I'm gonna add back my little acrylic table. This table is from Homery. And then usually I keep this table pretty simple. I just add in this ginger jar that I got from Home Goods. So that way, if I need to move anything off of it, I can move it off. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I've changed this accent wall in my living room a few times. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. We did go in and repaint it. And then we also add in some picture frame molding just so it can kind of flow with the rest of the house. So I really love this shade of green. I really just think it gives a really nice luxe vibe. So this is a little niche that I have inside of my living room. It's really unique to my space or to this, my house. My house is a ranch style house, which I absolutely love, but it doesn't have a lot Lot of architectural detail in it but the little pieces that i do have in there i try to make them stand out so they can add a little bit of character to the space so this wall i really wanted to keep it simple i didn't want to add any artwork or anything as a centerpiece for it because i think it just takes away from the overall look of the wall so i just have my cb2 wall sconces there my credenza and then i'm going to use this vase and these florals that i got from home goods to create my focal point so these stems are huge i got these from home goods they are some cherry blossoms they're really thick and heavy and i'm only using two in this vase this vase is actually from home goods as well and i think it just really adds a really nice a subtle pop of color And then I'm gonna also add in this vase here that I got from CB2 many years ago. It's one of my favorite vases. I'm just gonna stagger it in front of this one just to kind of add in uh, using that principle of three to style uh, the center of this console table. And then on this side, I'm gonna add in these decorative vases or jars that I got from the at-home store. I'm going to also add in this small picture frame I got from Amazon and then I just 
had a print that I printed off of Etsy or actually I printed off of Amazon and added to the frame it just a, it's just a floral print of some tree branches just to go into that frame and then I'm going to add in more of my coffee table books these are the ones that I'm using at the moment still keeping with that kind of neutral um, ivories and blacks uh, color scheme and then I'm going to add those to this side And then I always love decorating with decorative bowls. I just really think that they are very versatile. You can get multiple uses. So this one is from Inspire Me Home Decor. It has a flouted, uh, not flouted, but it has like a pedestal uh, stature to it. And it has white and gold on it. Really nice. And then I'm going to add in these beads underneath it. These beads I got from Home Goods. But the bowl itself came from Inspire Me Home Decor. And I'm going to add in my faux artichokes. These look so realistic, you guys. I got these from Amazon many years ago, and I have used them throughout my home all over. So right now, I'm adding them to this faux decorative uh, bowl. And then lastly, I found these really cute swan candle holders from Amazon. The detail on these are amazing. You can use them as a candle holder or you can use them as a small vase as well. But I'm going to use mine to put some really pretty votive candles on there. And the swans come in, they shaped um, a slightly different. So they kind of give you some variation when you're decorating with them. So I really thought these would look really cute for springtime. I love how this little niche has turned out, you guys. I'm just absolutely obsessed with the look of it. I'm just going to give you a pan around and give you an overview of the room. We did go ahead and decorate the dining room and refresh that space for spring. And we also redid the entryway. We added a few new pieces to the living room and dining room this spring. So if you hadn't... If you haven't had the chance to watch any of those videos, I'll have them linked down in the description box below so you guys can check those out as well. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Trina. I share all things home decor. So if you love home decor and you also love gardening, I would love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. I'm just giving you guys one last look of the overall space. I love how everything has turned out. Definitely stay tuned for my upcoming videos. So we're going to be decorating my front porch for spring as well as the back patio. So stay tuned for those videos. But I thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.